Hello friends, today we will see HTML dot validation message for HTML helper in MVC3 Razor. Now the validation message for helper is used to display validation error or messages. And when there is an error for a particular field in the model state dictionary, we can use the validation message for helper to display the message. This helper renders a message inside a span element and gives the text a red color. Validation message for helper binds a control to the model it helps in the model binding now if you consider a scenario where you have a form and you have some mandatory fields on the form now when you want to show the messages for the model field and you have a model binding on your form then you can use validation message for helper and to show the error messages now the validation for message for helper has four overloads and we'll see how each overload helps helps to show error messages in a better way now this is a sample application where we have two action methods register which renders the register form and this is a register action result where a form is posted and model state is checked and the error messages are displayed and we have a simple view model where we have four properties four model properties for which the controls will be rendered and here we have a f here this is a view and we have a simple form and we have used label for to render the label for the model property we use edit we have used editor for model editor for more editor for html helper to render the control for the first name property and we have used validation message for to render the validation message now suppose our validation message comes from our view model so we have to specify here that error message first name is mandatory now I'll define this error message for all the fields and just I'll just update the text this is password this is email this is last name now the error messages are defined in the view model and we have used HTML dot validation message for for each model property now when the model state is not valid the error message is shown using this validation message for helper now let's see let's run the application and see how the messages are displayed now this is my form the my form is rendered now I'll submit the form without entering any value so now required data annotation validation is failed and error message is shown on the UI now you can see the error message is the same which we defined for our model property so by this way you can use validation message for helper to render the error messages now this is the first overload now let's move to the second overload of this validation message for helper now put a comma you get a second overload and the second overload says string validation message so it ex expects us to provide validation message now we say our validation message is mandatory now I'll refresh my view and I submit the form now now you can see it is picking the mandatory error message from the helper level instead of picking it from the view model level so this is the default behavior if you don't specify the error message at validation message for level so it uses the error messages from view model now if you specify the error message at validation message for level then it will use the error message specified at the helper level only it will ignore the message specified at the view model level so this is how the second 
overload works now if you put another comma we have a third overload which is object html attribute so it says object uh, object html attributes uh, accepts any style attribute or any control level attributes to be applied so now for example i'll apply style attribute and i say uh, my font size will be 20 pixel so i have I have given one style attribute as object attribute and i'll refresh the page and again submit the form now you can see the error message the font size for the first error message has increased as we have passed an object attribute or a style attribute as an object attribute so this is the third overload now let's move to the fourth overload now the fourth overload says the fourth overload accepts the dictionary of HTML attributes the third parameter requires only a single HTML attribute but the fourth overload accepts a dictionary of HTML attributes now we have a simple dictionary defined which is this and we have uh, added two values or two attributes to it we have added one style attribute and one class attribute so we'll be passing this dictionary to this helper so now let's refresh the form and render it again now you can see Now you can see the validation class being applied to this mandatory error message so by this way and the font family comic sans ms the two attributes we have passed is applied to the validation message for content so by this way we can also pass the dictionary object and can apply multiple attributes in a single way so these these were the four overloads of validation message for uh, Hope you like it. Thank you friends.